it says that as part of the African Union's strategy to fight the COVID-19 pandemic in Africa, Ghana subscribed to the African Vaccine Acquisition Trust Protocol, AVAT, which was created as a central entity for negotiation, procurement and payments for vaccines and also acts as the interface between AU member states on one hand and the vaccine manufacturers on the other hand. Now it also says that countries were allocated quantities of vaccines based on the population and the ability to deploy the vaccines on prescribed schedules. Now the statement also reads that AVAT protocol required upfront payments by countries for scheduled deliveries such that soon as any such volumes of vaccines are available for delivery, payments is due through AVAT arrangements. Well, for Ghana, 16,918,600 doses of the Janssen vaccine were allocated and AVAT was to deliver these vaccines periodically per agreed delivery schedule as and when we needed them. Now, the reason for the agreed number of these doses were as a result of, one, the national policy of attaining herd immunity by immunizing um, 21 million uh, people in Ghana and also to avoid wastage and aspiration and the difficulties globally in getting access to vaccines at the time. Well, the statement says that due to the unexpected hesitancy, cold chain storage challenges, spontaneous donations as well as manufacturers' storage difficulties, the ministry in June 2022 was compelled to agree to a delivery schedule for the remaining 11,052 million doses to be delivered from June to December 2022. Now, according to the schedule, 1.6 million doses were to be delivered from June to December 2022 to complete the allocation. Well, however, this process was delayed because of the aforementioned challenges. Currently, the ministry requested and has received the June allocation, which was delivered in January 2023. Well, in the meantime, the ministry continues to work with the AVAT for a possible review of the contract and would want to assure the public of the commitment to work in the supreme interests of the public. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News.